All right, you may have heard by now, a hot dog is a taco, an enchilada is actually a sushi roll. An article about a bizarre new food classification system went viral in the last week or so. Our producer Ellie Holmes tracked down the Washington Post reporter whose story created this cuisine chaos. Believe it or not, KSAT was the first media outlet in the country to go one-on-one -on -one with the reporter who sparked a national food fight. Good morning, Maura. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, this is one of those mind-blowing ideas to us. We cannot wrap our head around this cube rule thing. What in the world is this? <laughs> All right, so the cube rule is a way of classifying foods according to their structure or geometry. And so you look at the placement of the starch in the food to determine what kind of food it is. And so, for example, when you look at a hot dog, which is surrounded on three sides by bread, the cube rule would call that a taco. You can't have a call a hot dog a taco. And the other one we're, we have a bone to pick about down here in San Antonio, especially more, is enchiladas are apparently a sushi roll. A sushi. Look, I don't make the rules. The cube roll makes the rules. But, uh. <laughs> so tell us about this, this Brandon guy. We don't know the last name. A 25-year-old who came up with the cube rule, and he doesn't want to be <laughs> take credit for the cube rule, but, but we want to, boy, do we want to talk to him. Uh -huh. you, you got a bone to pick. <laughs> well, so Brandon um, is a person on Twitter who who created this diagram um, that kind of classifies foods according to the cube structure. And so when you go through them, a toast is anything that has one side of bread. So when you look at it, like a pizza is actually just a giant piece of toast in the cube rule. A sandwich, we all know, two sides of bread. Uh, a taco, we already went over. And then um, four sides of bread or starch would be a sushi, something that's in a roll shape, an enchilada or a Swiss roll cake. And then five sides, anything that has an open top but bread all the way around the bottom and the, and the sides, that would be a bread bowl or a quiche or a pie. And then the last category is a calzone, which is something fully enclosed by bread. So a Pop-Tart is technically a calzone, a ravioli is technically a calzone. And then there's this other category, which is things that don't fit into any of those categories. So that means they either have starch throughout them or they have no starch at all. And so when you think about it, a spaghetti, a plate of spaghetti would technically be a salad. A nacho plate would be a salad. Or well, uh, it, this one always gets people, a steak. A steak has no starch. A steak is a salad. So a steak is a salad. Now, I do like steak in my salad I, I do, too. I don't know about this whole steak You know what, Maura? I want to go grocery shopping with you because I want you to correct the manager and say, you've got stuff in the wrong sections, pal. <laughs> so what's the reaction been? <laughs> well, people love to fight about this. It's one of those internet arguments that just has always existed. People always want to debate whether a hot dog is a sandwich, and this kind of throws a new wrench into it. And so people have really enjoyed kind of like making rulings on various foods. So, you know, for example, um, if you go through various hot dog related things, a pig in a blanket is a sushi, but a corn dog is a calzone. Uh, okay. All right. That's just All right, Maura, so you work for the Washington Post. You actually wrote this for Voracious. What is Voracious? Uh, Voraciously is our website for novice cooks. It's part of the food section of the Washington Post. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Well, this really got our attention, and we talked about it for a long time just the other day. We did. And the question we want to ask you now, more now that you've been, uh, you know, published the article and it's it's caught fire on the web, and you're now known around the world for the writing this article <laughs> on the rule. on the cube rule. Um, has it hit you the lunacy of the idea that uh, geometry can <laughs> meet our food, and food meets geometry? Oh, definitely, yes. I mean, this is not something that anyone should take seriously whatsoever. It's a joke theory on the internet. I mean, I think of it really more as a thought experiment. It really shows you how there are only so many shapes that a lot of the foods we love can really take, and they all have something in common. And so it really kind of unites us to think about how all these foods across cultures, across different food traditions, kind of take the similar form. So it's really just something to think about and fight about. Um, it's more fun than debating politics. Oh, you are the not well, yeah. kidding about Amen that. to that, sister. We had a lot of fun with it. Maura Judkus with the Washington Post. Thank you so much for being with us. You're a good sport, Maura. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you too. So we sent GMSA at 9 producer Ellie Holmes and special projects producer Carlos Hernandez to the Pearl to see how the people feel about it. But could you imagine looking under the sushi category at a restaurant and enchiladas being there? No. no. That's weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I guess I can see where they get the idea of it being a sushi, but like it's not a sushi. Yeah. That enchiladas would be under the sushi category because they are completely enrolled in bread but don't have any bread on either end. What is 
No, that's, is, that's just dumb. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, and because yeah. sushi isn't necessarily a roll. Like there's sashimi and nigiri, and I would consider that sushi too. He has a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> but sushi is rice, so. And why couldn't the calzone be the corn dog? You know, like why is the calzone the category? I wonder what his thought process is there. Okay, so what's our verdict? Our hot dogs? You said tacos. I said tacos. Sandwich or taco? I would say sandwich. What? Oh, I say taco. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so your verdict again on the hot dog, sandwich or taco? I say sandwich. A hot dog is a hot dog, man. Being in San Antonio and in Texas, I mean, there's only one taco to me. So I don't <laughs> think I, that I could categorize, categorize a, a hot dog as a taco. So I'm not a big fan of the whole geometry of, of food. So no, that's my opinion. Not, I'm not either. <laughs> sushi is sushi. Enchiladas are enchiladas. <laughs> exactly. That's about all I have to say about that. <laughs>